No, this can't be. Yes, it can. Hey guys, it's Ninkanim, and I'm back with Lunar. Silver Star story complete, and we just defeated Zenobia. Lord Galleon always told me that humans were ugly and weak. It's impossible. Galleon could never be wrong. I failed you, my lord. Please forgive me. Did you hear the way she spoke Galleon's name? It almost sounded as though she was in love with him. What a pitiful woman. Indeed, Mia. Um, I don't think they're going to be too kind to us in this next room and just, you know, give us a goddess statue. So we're going to heal up just in case and stock everybody's um, items all the way up if we can. Yeah, see, we're running a little low, but got to make do. Let's see, we'll give that to Nash and anybody who doesn't have... Anyone who can't have another healing herb, I guess, gets a... I think Alex needs that for reasons. Alright. So there's that. Everybody's got that? Everybody set? Everybody healed as they're gonna get? Haha, <laughs> I, I made a run. Alright, well, use that on him. And Nash, or... Actually, you know what? Everybody's actually all really healed up entirely healed up. That's strange. But, uh, that heals. Oh, well, we need Jessica's magic more than Nash's. So there we go. And that's that. That's all the healing items we've got. They're all allocated. We're all ready. Are you guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Let's go. Da -da. Yeah, see the long, narrow stairwell? That, that typically tells you what's gonna happen, right? Yeah, that's not a totally hypnotized voice. You were never meant to exist in the realm of mortals, Althena. Your soul is destined to live for eternity, not suffocate within a rotting sack of flesh. You're a goddess, Althena, and to refute your absolute power is to deny your true destiny. Go now and show that power to the children whose world and whose lives you created. I shall do exactly as you desire, Master Galleon. Don't you think it's a bit funky for, you know, like, a goddess to be calling someone else Master? Luna! Huh, <laughs> yes, dragon boy. Let her go, Galleon! I'm sorry to say that your simple request must be denied. Unfortunately for you. The object of your desire has a destiny more powerful than your meaningless affection. No! Humans are helpless creatures, dragon boy. Pitiful, helpless creatures that need to be strictly controlled. Fifteen years ago, the goddess ignored this basic truth and chose to be reborn as one of her own children. She believed they would be able to care for themselves. It was a foolish belief acted upon in a moment of weakness. Althena and Dine willfully cast aside their responsibilities, and our world paid the price for their selfish desire. What happened? <laughs> I mean, really, what happened in the last 15 years that was so fucking terrible, Galleon? Think about it. But now I possess the ability to correct the grievous error they foolishly enacted. So sit back, Dragon Boy, and behold the power of salvation I shall deliver. Sorry that's glitching out on you guys. It's a little glitchy for me. I can't move. Bye bye. Why are you glitching out today? God, calm down. Luna! Stop it! Stop it! Dragon boy. 
Of all people in this room, you certainly must know that it's much too late to turn back. Dear Luna must gather back the power she spread into the world before her rebirth as a human. And in the process, those powers will change her back into a goddess. My goddess! What? That's why you kidnapped Luna? I don't expect you to understand any of this. After all, you are yet just a boy. Concepts like the necessity of leadership are far beyond your immature grasp. And all you've ever done is dream, fantasize really, of your great adventures. I don't expect you to understand my grandois dream for this de decadent world. But once I have enacted my plan, you shall learn to live in my structured reality. That doesn't sound, uh... Doesn't sound very, um, agreeable. We'll say that. Oh, that's lovely. That's nice. It won't be long until all of Athena's power, or Luna's power if you like, is mine. And when the last wisp of magic has been siphoned away from the world and into me, the goddess shall submit to my rule and I will reign forever as a god. Yeah, see it's not about bringing Athena back, it's about taking her place, because you're crazy. <laughs> Alright, Gallion, I've had just about enough of your trash talking. I've never needed to tell anyone, I've never needed anyone to tell me what to do, especially not a complete nut bar like you. Human beings don't need to be controlled to be happy. That's right, and that's why the goddess entrusted us with her powers. We're not letting you take her precious gift away from us. So he's taking all of the magic out of the world, essentially. I have believed in you once, Gallion. I thought what you were doing was right, but now I realize just how wrong you are. You're a human being, Gallion. You're like all of us. You make mistakes, and you are flawed. What makes you think you're worthy of wielding the power of the goddess? Now see, there's the argument right there. Mia's making the best point here. And taking away the freedom she gave to all of us. Don't you understand, Gallion? Don't you understand that the only person who wants the world as it was is you? It can't be helped if I have a greater understanding of what the world needs than Althena. While she fled in her ivory tower, I watched her children struggle to survive without her rule. What you call freedom, Alex, I deem cruelty. What will guide this world if it has no god, Alex? What will save it from itself? The only thing this world needs to be saved from is you, and we're here to do just that. Alright. <laughs> what utter nonsense. Perhaps you should demonstrate the power that gives you such confidence. Then we will see who is fit to be supreme ruler and who is dead. Those that underestimate the power of the human spirit are destined to fail. And that means you, Gallion. And now it is time for, I believe, the real battle with Galleon. This one's going to be a doozy. Not going to lie to you. It's going to be hard. It's going to take longer probably than the 10 minutes we have left. So what I'll do is um, once the ep this episode is over, we're going to... I'm, I'll include the rest of the battle like I did uh, the battle with... Oh, the other battle that I included the other half of his bonus content. I'll include that. The other battle with Galleon. So yeah, we're going to start with all of our buffs and we're going to need them. I honestly don't think that works, but really, what can it hurt? It can't, right? It cannot hurt. Alright, everybody, get your buffs going. Special we need delivery. them. We need them badly. Look how pretty that battle back is, though. It's a pretty backdrop for a battle. But yeah, I'll include the rest of it with uh, limited commentary after these, after the first half. He's, he's vicious. 
He's not easy, but we have leveled up since fighting him last. Time to die. He attacks twice sometimes. He's fucking fast. And he has new things to kill us with. It's rough. <laughs> I told you, this is not going to be a cakewalk. This, this is going to be a hard battle. But we're going to make it somehow, someway. With a lot of effort. I'm going to try and spread people out. Um, so, like Jess, because she's a healer. I'm just going to tuck her in the back corner, even though she's great at attacking. Oh, come on, Jess. I wanted you to move. Because that way she won't get in on the group attacks. If he, if he attacks everybody, then she'll still get hit. But if he just attacks um, an area, she won't get hit. I'll probably do the same with Mia now that she's power drive both of the guys. Because, I mean, that's an all attack, so it's going to get everyone. That's shitty. Time to die. Yeah, he attacks twice. Time to die. Sometimes three times, apparently. Oh, wow. Nash dodged him. I'm impressed. Shocked, really. Um... Hmm, I don't know if she can heal everybody enough. We're gonna go like that. You're going to attack. You're going to go hide in the back as well. Because you don't need this shit either. You're going to attack. And you are going to give Alex... Hopefully not until after he casts. Check this out. The timing on these things is always iffy. Oh, come on. I wanted you to use it after he used his giant spell that takes up so much magic. What are you doing, Jessica? Can you have waited? That's lame. Time to die. Oh, it moves them all back in anyway. I forgot about that. He just gathers everybody back together. Time to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least he went for the just those two this time. Somehow Mia escaped that. Um, okay, Alex. We're just gonna have to have you concentrate on attacking. Because you are your attacker. Um, we should get Mia armoring everyone as fast as possible. I shouldn't have wasted time on moving them. Out. That was a mistake on my part. Because really, he's going to just tornado them back to the center anyway, so it doesn't matter. Might as well keep them right there and keep everybody in a tight-knit formation. Because his spells aren't really, like, area effective anyway. What the fuck are you doing to Kyle? Jesus. Oh, now he's immune to magic, I believe. That's what Chaos Shield does. Um, okay. Oh, you don't even have a... That's nice. Good. Alright. Use Sword Dance on him anyway. You're useless right now because he's immune to magic at the moment. So you do that. You continue to increase defenses. And you're going to revive your boyfriend. This one's gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna be like this. Yeah, see, the whole shield thing. It's kind of bullshit, but whatever. Time to die. Yeah, yeah, sucks everybody right into the middle. Plunk, 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 plunk. But it's one of his lesser attacks, so honestly, I don't mind Tornado much. Oh yeah, Kyle doesn't have regen anymore. Alright. I believe if you look at his hands, it gives you some sort of hint as to what's coming. Um, hmm. No, just magic him. And you, you already got your set you already got Alex and Jessica, so now uh yourself. You need to do that again. Uh heal everybody. Check this out. Yeah. 
Even with that shield on, he's still hitting really well. Okay, the shield is gone. You have to fight through the shield. It sucks. I know. Alright, good. Good. Time to I wish they had a... Like Alex, his spell works for one, like, one good hit. Oh, he's gonna take out Nash, I bet. Oh, that sucks. But I hadn't gotten Nash up very much, so that's okay. See how Mia is less affected by that? That's because of the things I have on. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Wow. Alright. Nash, maybe you should, uh, heal yourself, buddy. Old buddy, old pal. Uh, and... Kyle. There we go. And you need to heal everyone. Yeah. Very nice. It looks like he's got glowing pink oh, boobs yeah, on his armor. Doesn't it? Just a little bit? I think it does. I definitely think it does. Oh, I hate this one. This is like an auto-kill for one random person. Oh, no, no, no. The other one was an auto-kill. That's healing. Do you know how I fucking feel about healing? Yeah, go with them physical attacks. They don't do as much for us. How can you be so rude to Mia? She's like the sweetest person. So rude. Alright, nobody needs magic right now, so... Um, the only one we have left is Nash, so yep, heal him up. Actually, you know what? Before you do that to Nash, because I care about him a lot less, uh, Kyle. There we go. And heal everyone. Check this out. Check this out. You're still saying that. No one's checking you out, Nash. Athena, lend me your power. Okay, so now we've found a rhythm, and I'm going to keep going in this rhythm until he's dead. But, um, yeah, until then... Uh, I guess I'll just end this episode a little early, because, I mean, it's it's just going to be battle from here on out. Um, I'll include the rest of the battle in a uh, an additional episode. I don't know how long it'll be. It'll be however long the battle is, whether it's 20 minutes or 30 or 40 or however long it takes me to kill him. But, fuck's sake, he killed Kyle again. Um, I'm going to include all of that. So, yeah. Um... Thank you guys for being along on this journey with me thus far and watching. It's very nearly over. So it is almost time for uh, it's almost time for the whole very sad end of game speech. I'm I'm not ready for it, but but I'm going to do it. I'm I'm not ready for this one to end, but it's going to. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, um, feel free to leave me a like or a comment down below if you would want to. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the ending because it will be coming tomorrow. Thank you guys so very much and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!